All right, let's talk about masking. Okay, this is a really important aspect of the XGen process and also another reason that we have to be super organized. So what is masking and how do we do that? Well, masking is basically telling the um, here where we want it to be, not just by the guides, but actually painting kind of a white and black mask. Okay, so again, I'm gonna stay on this example right here and maybe I'll turn that off. And if I click on this, um, again, male, main hair, and if I go to primitives here, I can see mask, okay? So the mask right now is saying that if I preview this, I can see that anywhere that I have a guide, okay, again, this guy's got crazy hair, um, it's gonna show hair. Now, of course, I would spend time to kind of put guides all over and then groom it or put the guides in a way that makes sense to kind of flow with the hair. Um, but right now, the mask is just 100%, okay? So again, I'm gonna hide that. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a mask here, a paintable one. To do that, I'm gonna go to this down arrow and say create map, okay? Now I'm gonna say, this is gonna be the um, male, uh, main, hair, mask. Uh, map resolution, I'm, I'll be, it'll be five, and I'm gonna start with black. Okay, black means there's gonna be no hair whatsoever. White means it's gonna be 100% hair. But I'll just leave it at black and I'm gonna go ahead and hit create. When I do that, I can see that this turns black. And if I hit a preview for hair, I don't really see any hair, right? That's because it's not allowed to show. So what I'll do is I'll go here. And by the way, if I double click on this, here's my tool settings. And I wanna make sure that my brush is set to a hard edge brush. And my color, my paint color is right here. So if I set this to white, I can paint um, and I can hold down B as in brush, drag left and right to make it bigger or smaller. And now I can paint like this. I can also scroll down here on my tool settings. I can go to stroke and I can turn on reflection. That way it's gonna be um, symmetrical on both sides. I'll just kind of do a little bit like that. And now if I turn this on, um, we might not, it might not, be correct, I'm gonna clear it. So what we have to do is we have to save it first. So if I go here, save to disk, and it's going to save a p-text map to a disk, okay? Now, if I click on that, now you can see that it actually is working, and I can see that the hair is coming up only from where it's white, okay? Um, the other thing, too, that I can do is if I come down here, okay, my tool settings, and come down here, and I can say um, assign and edit textures. And I'm gonna say, here's where I choose the size of the map. So maybe I want it bigger. So 2048, whoa, 2048 by 2048. And I'll hit uh, assign and edit texture. And I'll hit save, okay? Now, what did that do, okay? And then, oh, by the way, I should point out, if I click on the paintbrush, now I'm able to paint again, okay? Now, if I paint, let's say back here, but there's no guides, there's it's not gonna grow hair. I would need the guides to actually have it grow hair. Uh, so I'm gonna come here back to my paint. I'm gonna go like this, and I'll just leave this kind of crazy design right there, and um, let's see what's happening. So if I come in here, I can go into XGen, collection, male, male main hair, and I can see that here's my paint maps, and here's the mask, and then here's the p-text file that it's creating, okay? Now, you're not really gonna be able to edit that, it's just kind of like behind the scenes that it needs, but if I go back here, if I go back to, whoa, let's see, source images, 3D paint textures, and if I go in here, um, the name of the file, I called it XGen Practice 2, and if I go in here, this is a file that I should be able to open up in Photoshop. So I'm gonna go ahead and launch Photoshop and then open it up and take a look at it. Um, and I'm also gonna kinda take a look at the size of it and things like that. Okay. Now, 
here's Photoshop. Okay. Whoa, okay, let's see. Great. Now I'll go File, Open, and I'm going to go to my, um, let me see. Actually, it is XGen example, and then source images, okay? And then if I come here and open, it's gonna open this file. And you can see here, if I go to image, canvas size, okay? Uh, it is 20, uh, 1024 by 1024. Um, and I can see that the it looks like this. Why does it look like that? Because if I come back here, if I go to, um, if I select this and go to UV, UV editor, I can see that here's this kind of this uh, cap that we created. And if you picture the white part of the mask right there, um, that's what we're seeing. Okay, so we're seeing the white um, paint that I painted on there. And that's why that needed to be laid out flat to accept the, um, the paint. Okay, now the other thing too that I should point out is that we wouldn't we wouldn't have the um, the map if we didn't do if we didn't save it here. Okay, if we just save it right here, it's going to save as a ptex file, which uh, XGen needs, and it's going to update on the hair here. But I feel like it's not going to. Um, be editable or open it up. We couldn't open it up in Photoshop. So, um, and, and to kind of see it if we need to. Also, if we need to change the size of it. Now, it looks like my size did not change. I'm gonna just try one more time. I'm gonna say, um, okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and select this. I'm gonna go to um, paint this and I'm gonna just alter this a little bit. And, and again, you can see that if I cut in here, even if there's um, guides, and if I hit update, whoop, I have to hit save here. That's important, I have to hit save here, and you can see how it kind of cut that away. Okay, awesome. Now I'm gonna come down here, um, assign, edit textures. I'm gonna try this again, 2048 by 2048. Okay, and I'm gonna save. And now let me open that up one more time here. So if I come in here, here's that second one. Uh, looks like, yeah, this is that. And if I go to image, canvas size, aha, yes, it is 2048 by 2048. So it is gonna be better resolution. Okay, so, um, and again, if I was just saving it here, I wouldn't be able to change the size of the mask. Okay, so to be able to understand how to kind of control the masks, how to save them, how to change the size of them is going to be a critically important step for your X-Gen process because you'll notice that each one of these things, the length, the width, the taper, all of that stuff, I could create a map and it's going to be able to create a mask using the same concept of the black and white kind of painting. Um, one, one last thing that I could kind of sh point out here is that if I wanted to, I could come in here and I could hold down, well, let me see, okay. If I hold down shift, I can kind of blend to get kind of a soft edge, okay? And kind of, uh, again, kind of fade. So, um, or if I did gray, Okay, great, and then I, uh, notice I have a hard edge brush all the time. I feel like hard edge brushes actually work better than the soft edge brushes. But if I want a soft edge, I can kind of hold down shift and kind of do this. And it's going to be a percentage of the um, effect, okay, of the allowed kind of hair. And depending on my settings, uh, I'll be able to kind of tell that, you know, I can kind of tell if it's working better uh, depending on my refinement of my hair and the density of the hair and all that kind of stuff. But again, just to kind of start a conversation about this, um, masks are critically important. Having this set up properly first 
Again, I can see in XGen, the masks are being saved in the respective folder um, right here, but those are the PTEX files that are not editable. But if I want to kind of control my editability of it, I can go into my source images. As long as I saved it through the tool setting, I can go here and now I can open these up uh, in Photoshop and I can kind of see it and have a little bit more control. Okay, so again, hopefully that was helpful and um, awesome, thank you.